Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we're going to be starting Twin Mirror. This is the new game from uh, Don't Nod, and pretty much all I know about it is you're a detective or something like that with uh, some kind of special power, and you're solving something. So let's go ahead and hop into it. New game. I like being a detective with special powers. Sounds fun. And uh, this is a PS4 game, but I'm currently playing it on my PS5. So that's neat. I like that. The skies are finally clearing up after a light rain fell most of the afternoon. The weather's approaching 49 degrees, so we've got a brisk West Virginia evening ahead of us. Wrap up tight and settle in, folks. This is 104.3 WVCK, the Basswood Sound. I'm your host, Carrie Hammond. Coming up after a short break, mental health expert Dr. Wick. We'll discuss the recent opioid epidemic that's been affecting. I forgot, this is a Don't Nod game, so this video is definitely getting copyright claims. <laughs> so, yay. But whatever. It's fine. Who cares? But, uh, it seems like, it seems like somebody wants him to go to a wake, and he's like, uh, screw that. I don't want to go to a wake. Lookout point. Is it also makeout point? Where all the kids come to do the dirty. Well, here we are. What exactly are we Time doing to here? Kill before the funeral. Might as well spend it here. I see. Uh, do you have a run, sir, or do you just kind of meander? You just kind of meander. All right, no littering. I didn't plan to. This place was always one for decisions. Somewhere for things to fall apart. Hmm. Regi rest restoration sign. The company made sure we knew how generous they were. Welcome back to Basswood, Sam. Made possible thanks to the generous donations of the New Virginia Coal Inc. Yeah. They didn't restore it just to restore it. They're like, oh my gosh, look at how generous we were. But, eh, whatever. Cole's not going to be around much longer anyway, so... I came up here every chance I could. One of the all-time great views. Really makes a small town look big. Yeah, it is a very nice view. I wish I had a view like this. But instead, I live in the middle of nowhere that doesn't really have a lot of good views. So, yeah. Closed. Ruin. Sucks. View of Basswood. Wow. Graffiti jerks. Uh, okay, cemetery. What does this say? Orientation board. Founded in 1865, this small mining town quickly grew along with the coal industry. At its peak, Basswood produced more coal than any other town in West Virginia, with the Basswood mine being one of the most consistent coal mines in the U.S. Basswood is also a wonderful place to simply let nature be nature outside of the Appalachian Trail. With its hundreds of miles of hiking trails, a perfect example of the true West Virginian way of life. Basswood is both a reminder of its past and a glimpse into its bright future. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Uh, look. I'm not sure Nick would even want me at his funeral, given how I left things. Oh, is that where the wake is happening? Yeah. So, Nick is the one that is having the wake, and Bug was the one asking about it, so password. I remember spending entire summers on the banks fishing with Nick. And now you're not even going to his funeral? Well, I guess you, you said you left things badly, so... My hometown. It felt more imposing in my nightmares. Hmm. This is kind of similar to, um, Tell Me Why. So far, their character is going back to an old home hometown. Strange to think of Basswood without its mind. Probably to find out something about their past, if I had to guess. Alright, is that everything we can look at? I guess so. Danger, fall hazard. Because the sign protects better than sturdy railings. You'd think the massive cliff face would be a giveaway. Because the sign protects better than sturdy railings. I mean, uh, yeah, it might not be too sturdy. It might not be too sturdy, but hey, I've seen a lot of places that don't have railings at all, so. Directly connected to the emergency the line. I still see some use, given how bad the coverage is up here. That would be the worst part about living in a place like this, is bad coverage and, like, shit internet. Wildlife sign. Oh, look at the kitty. And the fox. These trails were great to walk if you wanted to feel truly alone. Uh, let me read this. Some of these species are endangered. She wrote an article about it. Who wrote an article about it? West Virginia's scenic mountain forests are home to deer, flying squirrels, red foxes, field mice, rabbits, and cave bats, along with other animals. Bobcats, wild boars, and even black bears have been seen all over the state. Even very remote farmsteads have occasionally sighted the eastern cougar, Puma con color, on the prowl. Cool. Hunting, Hunting is another tradition I could never get behind. Just don't see the appeal. Uh, can we read that? Nope. All right. So, I can't really see the appeal to hunting either, and I grew up in a place with a lot of hunting. Ah, yes! The food locker for the bears. Made so they can't open it. Keeps hikers and hunters safe from bears. Left a sandwich in it for a whole week once. Dad never let me forget it. Yup. They also have, uh, I don't see one here, but they have, like, trash cans? That bears are supposed to not be able to get into, which this is not. This is not bear friendly. A bear can just walk up and steal shit out of that trash can. There's supposed to be trash cans that they can't get into. That they have to, like, open. But they can't do it clean. Patch of moss. There seems to be something here. Look at me, I'm already detectiving. A and S. Lost and found. Journal updated. Uh, okay. Lovers scarring a tree to write down their initials. Always seems twisted to me. Yeah, poor buddy. This kills the tree. Don't do it. Okay, no no hiking past this point. Alright, won't do it. Alright, let's go up here. Still wish you could walk a bit faster. Love looking at basswood from up here. Help give me perspective. Until that day. Uh until what day? I just realized I don't even know what your name is. Uh can we look through the Yeah we can. Uh, spyglass. Why can't the real world be as clear and peaceful as my own mind? Even if it does mean nothing stays hidden in here. Not even me. This is an interesting interpretation of what the inside of a mind would look like. The basswood rail incident. Damaged track led to derailing. Anything else? There was something else I saw hanging around. Aha! Optimal shot angles. Up in pool. Who is that? That looks like a person. 
that Nick? Is this your power? You can just walk around in your mind? Because that's a pretty cool power. I want to be able to do this. Memory. This is Anna. She works freelance. Uh, does a lot of the human interest pieces. What can I say? I'm interested in humans and their pieces. <laughs> what do you like to write? I gotta run to a review with Walt. You two feel free to chit-chat. And Sam, be nice. I had never met someone so interested in others. Even in me. Uh, her joke was horrible. <laughs> her joke was absolutely horrible. <laughs> she should feel bad. The story is important. You know I think that. It's just... People around here have short tempers and long memories. Be careful. Sam, are you even listening to me? I heard you, Anna. But no, I wasn't listening. Sorry, the sun was in my eyes. So it seems like we may have a potential thing going on with Anna. Possibly maybe our wife, uh, who I can't help but notice is not here now. Uh, so... Or a girlfriend or something? Seems like we have some sort of connection to her. Nothing else hiding around over here? No. Alright, let's look back through the spyglass then. Oh. What are you doing? You trying to spook me? Get out of here. Come on, Anna. Look at this. <laughs> what is it? Someone skinny dipping? Anna, you really need to see this. I can't even see. Something's blocking it. Sam, what are you doing? I'm trying to be romantic. What? Wait. Please don't tell me you're proposing. I'm down on one knee, a ring. What else would I be doing? You look like I just ran over your grandma. Okay, the silence is really starting to scare me now. Anna, please say something. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. You should know that. We've discussed it before. Didn't seem like much of a blast from the past. <laughs> but thank you, Trophy. We weren't happy. She was the one brave enough to face that. Lost in my head again. How much time did I miss? I was potentially thinking that Anna just wasn't interested in, like, marriage at all. Or potentially wanted, like, an open relationship or something like that, but it seems like more they were just having a rough time and she realized that and he didn't, so she's like, I don't want to be married. Like, we can still be friends, but... Alright. I uh, decided to take a walk on the promontory before Nick's funeral. I thought I wasn't going to face Basswood again, but the past is already pulling me back in. My memories are so vivid, it's as if they never left. Take a walk on the promontory, remember the night at Spyglass, return to your car, you've wasted enough time. People. Uh... Sam? Left Basswood two years ago to run away from a job at a small-time newspaper, a town full of angry people, and a failed relationship. I didn't glance back, now I'm going to attend my best friend's funeral. What could be more fun than facing all your past mistakes at your friend's gravesite, right? Wow, Sam. A uh, little bundle of sunshine, huh? <laughs> Anna, the one that got away. Would my whole life be different had she said yes? Seeing her again, that's going to be hard. Yes, part of me is looking forward to it. The rest of me wants to turn around and leave now. Oh. 
Okay, so we're going to see Anna again. Memento. Bittersweet to see your own name carved into a tree. Oh. Oh, A&S, Anna and Sam. Wait, did we do that? He was talking shit about people that did that. Okay, it was her idea to carve your initials into a tree. That was before. Well, you know the rest. You came up here one night with her by your side. It was late, and you were about to head back when Anna said she wanted to show you something. She had scratched your initials into a tree and then drew a heart around them. What are you, 12? You scoffed. She took your hand and made you retrace the grooves in the wood with your fingers. When you're 12, she said, and you're in love for the first time, it's what you'll compare the rest of your life to, forever. You laughed and she kissed you, and then you drove home and never thought about that tree again, until now. Okay, so that was our tree. <laughs> Nick. Nick's been my best friend since we were kids. My only friend. I ghosted him two years ago when I left Basswood, and now he's ghosting me by being dead. I <laughs> What? What? <laughs> that, what? I don't know about that, man. But, I don't know about that, that delivery. <laughs> he ghosted me when I left him two years ago, and now he's ghosting me by being dead. Like, what? <laughs> okay, Sam. Alright, Sam. That just seems very blunt and to the point. Can I not go down that way? What am I supposed to do? Jump? I don't know. Do we take- do I take fall damage? It won't let me- okay, I, I was stuck. It won't let me walk through here. Weird. I missed the funeral. Maybe it's for the best. On the bright side, Nick's not alive for me to let him down again. Wow, Sam. <laughs> wow. Isn't this supposed to be your best friend? Sorry, Walter, but I don't think I'll stick around. Given up already? Just a quick, depressing jaunt down memory lane and then you're gone? I know you think that the only thing waiting for you down there is hurt. Lots of hurt. And you might be right. But it's been two years. It's time to face the world. Time to adult. The good news, though, at least you don't have to do it alone. What, do I have an imaginary friend? Is that what's going on here? Am I like a whatever year old with an imaginary friend? Am I literally York from Deadly Premonition? <laughs> Still coming? I really hope you can make the wake. It'll be at the Haven. Uh, I'm almost there. Lost the signal. Some things never change. Okay, so it didn't matter what I said, but I didn't want to be a dick. Maybe that'll get delivered later. And I would not have wanted to be a dick. Come on, dude. We gotta go catch your friend's funeral. I know there's some bad memories there and everything, but... It's your best friend, man. Way back home. Trophy earned. Alright. So that's an interesting idea. So, yeah, I wonder if we are going to have, like... What was that other thing? Was that just, like, his... I, I don't know, something else talking? Or was that actually an imaginary friend? Because it seemed like it might be an imaginary friend. Bug Waldron. Next daughter. Can't imagine what she's going through. Oh. Yuli, you actually came. It's been a while. You've gotten taller. 
Can we talk? We're talking right now. It's cold. So... You left. Joan, that's not fair. You left. Let me explain. Let's not talk about this. I'm sorry. Um, I, if I was in this situation, I would not want to hear let me explain. I would want to hear I'm sorry first. So... Look, Joan, I messed up. You said you wouldn't leave. You said... You said... I don't remember exactly, but you pinky swore. I didn't mean to lie. I just screwed up. After Anna broke up with me, I'm... I'm sorry. I wish words meant anything. I wish this didn't make it harder for you to trust me now. You could have at least called something. Especially after... You know... After my dad. I don't know what to say to that. You're right. I wasn't in a state where I could reach out to anyone. I'm still not. If Nick hadn't died, I never would have come back. Thanks for being honest. <laughs> You're always at least honest. Listen, I, uh, I wanted to talk to you about what happened to Dad. It doesn't make sense. He wouldn't have just crashed. He drove like a grandma, you know that. It's wrong. I don't buy it. I'm just in town for the funeral, Joan. I'm not a PI or a cop. You're the closest thing I can talk to. Will you just look into it, Muley? Please. She wants her father's death to mean something. But where does that lead? What if it leads to the truth? That could change everything. An hour ago, you wanted to run away. Now you want to start another investigation? A few questions won't hurt anyone. Just tonight. To reassure her. And myself. This is a wake. If you poke around, people may end up poking back. Okay, whatever you do, at least leave the kid out of it. It would be cruel to lead her on. Friends don't lie to each other, even if it means disappointing her again. It's your call. Keep her out of it or promise to look into it. Um... I'm gonna promise to look into it. I mean, I imagine that's what this game is about, so... Okay. I'll see what I can see and all that. Gumshoe it up. You will? You make some good points. It doesn't fit. I hate when things don't fit. Yeah, me too. I might just be, I don't know, crazy or something, but... You want to know for sure. I get it. Thanks, Muley. I, um, I should go in before my mom misses me. You better get in there, too. Can't hide in your car all night. Who says I'm hiding out here? I do. See you inside.
Haha, yes, the game saved. I was hoping the game would save. Okay, let's look at, uh, yep, we got a new journal. The same town, the same doubts and contradictions. Face it or escape it. This time I make a different, I made a different decision. The temptation to embark on another doomed investigation leading to nothing but pain was too strong to resist. Am I doing this for Joan, for Nick, or for myself? Yeah, I did say, uh, we're gonna do it. Of all the people I hurt when I left Basswood, Joan is the one who least deserved it. She was just a kid, and my goddaughter. It's a tough job to be a lonely kid's only friend. I couldn't hack it. Now that her dad died, things aren't going to get any easier for her. Angry, hurt, stubborn, hard to believe Joan was the one who nicknamed me Muley. Not that I'm looking for an excuse. I made a promise to a child that will break her heart whether I keep it or not. What if she's right about her father's death? What will that do for, to her? And what if I can't give her the answer she's hoping for? Well, she deserves to know, just like the twins and uh, Tell Me Why I deserve to know. But uh, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and end this uh, first episode of Twin Mirrors off here. It seems pretty interesting so far, so I'm definitely into it. And I always do love me a good don't nod game. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode and I will see you next time.